Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the top 10 items from my Doctor Who collection. Now this isn't going to be like um, items that are the most expensive or anything, just the ones that mean the most to me. They are a bit random, but as I said, they're my favourite 10 items in my collection. So first of all I have picked the complete 4th series. This is the HMV exclusive slipcase one, but either of them. Uh, I used to be obsessed with series 4, I used to watch it all the time, this is why this one's a bit battered. But I particularly love this cover. It's got the Doctor and Donna on it, with a silhouette of the Dalek, which is quite similar to the Zygon silhouette from series 9. It's the exact same as the standard series 4 on the inside, and only the front of it is different. But yeah, some really good episodes in series 4, personally, I think. And I'm glad to have two copies of it in my collection. Next up I have Dot 2 Aliens and Enemies, which is a reference book. Uh, they've made others of this um, same sort of set, but this was the first one I got. And I've covered it in Dita Boy stickers for some reason. Um, this was actually the first Dot 2 reference book I ever got, so it means a lot to me. Uh, I took it everywhere, read it all the time, <laughs> and it's probably what taught me about Classic Who. I've mentioned before on this channel that I'm a massive fan of Zygons, they are my favourite monsters, so of course the 5 inch Zygon figure had to be in this list. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love it, it's a really well detailed figure, looks exactly, well not exactly, but it looks kind of like the ones from Terror of the Zygons, which is what it's based on, I believe this is Broton. And he is lovely. The next collection of items, I realise this is a bit of a cheat as there are free books here, but are the class books. I am a big fan of class, and these books are amazing. If you do love class, then please read these, they're awesome, and anything that mentions Mateus is <laughs> going to be on this list because none of the other class merchandise does. He's not even on the DVD, which is bad. Um, but yeah, I love these books. They're really good read. One of the best set of books I've read recently. Next up is this Doctor Who vintage, I suppose, fourth Doctor puzzle, which someone gave me for Christmas after they found it in a charity shop for 20 pence. It is complete. It's just a basic puzzle, but I really like it. I like that it was a gift and that they found it for such a good price. Just in a charity shop. It's a really nice illustration, a sort of classic y feel, so I'm glad to have it in my collection. Next, I have Battles in Time cards. Uh, these were the first sort of Doctor Who trading cards I collected, and I knew people who collected them. And yeah, they're just really nicely designed some cards. Oh, I also like that they basically included every character and yeah, very very far from both modern and classic goo. I have collected alien attacks and alien armies. I think those are the other ones and all, basically nearly all the other ones. But these ones are still my favourite. Next up I have this radio controlled Davros figure. Um, which is in this list because I won him. And I never win anything, so I was quite chuffed. He is horrifically dusty, I've just noticed, so sorry about that. I did try and clean him. Um, he is radio controlled, as I mentioned, but I don't use him for that. I just put him on display because he's really well detailed. And he just looks really cool. He looks like Davros, is basically all I'm trying to say here. And he's massive. He, uh, here's a comparison of him with the 5 inch Zygon, just to emphasise how big he is. Uh, yeah, so he is one of my favourite items. In all my who things. Now I am a oh, very big Eighth Doctor fan, so when I first heard the Eighth Doctor Adventures from Big Finish, I was amazed. I absolutely love them. Uh, I've only got the fourth series in physical form. I've got the rest digitally, which is why I'm just showing you random ones here just to fill the screen. Really, um, my favourite Eighth Doctor audios are Orbis. Um, Zygon who fell to earth, <laughs> predictably. 
No, yeah, basically, all of them. I've listened to them multiple times because they're just so addictive and good. I really love Lucy Sheridan Smith as a companion. I think she works really well with the Ape Doctor. Um, and yeah, Paul McGann's just really great. Now, another five inch figure on this list this is the War Doctor uh, figure, which I didn't get when it first came out, so I spent quite a bit on him on eBay. I think I managed to get him for 40 which is the cheapest I could find him at the time. I know that is a bit excessive, but he's a really nice figure. I think they've captured John Hurt's likeness really well. I love the um, fact that he just has a swappable head and comes with loads of accessories as well, including the moment and a Paul McGann head. I keep those in the box, as you can tell, and just put John Hurt on display. And last but not least, we have the classic moments Zygon figure. I would consider this my favourite item in my entire collection. As I mentioned, I love Zygons, and I think this is an amazing figure. It's got the seal of Rasslung detail all along the bottom. There you go, that's what it says on the base. It's just a really nice figure, I think. It's so idiosyncratic, I love it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video.